So these are um, the FoxFlow labels, or a range of FoxFlow labels. Um, these are tested as uh, finished products, so with printing on as well. And uh, these are tested for 8,000 hours, which is the longest test we've ever done, significantly the longest test we've ever done. Um, as you can see on the plate here, we have examples of virgin labels, and we've got examples of the weather. We've got the weathered labels here. Um, as you can see, the colour has faded. Print is still readily legible, and it's and is not you can't, you can't remove it. There is a degree of chalking on the surface. This can be removed with a finger, for example. So for all the labels, we assessed colour loss, cracking and crazing, um, uh, the quality of the legibility. For the silver, for the Foxfo labels, we also assessed their flexibility, as this was considered a crucial um, uh, property, and we burnt the products. Uh, one of the most impressive features of these labels was that they maintained uh, a very high degree of their flexibility. Um, we did some mandrel tests on completion of the UV weathering, uh, where we bent, bent the labels around and progressively finer mandrels down to a 3mm diameter mandrel. And the labels survived that without cracking or splitting. Um, as, and you can still see that, these, that they are readily flexible. They're not quite as soft and flexible as the virgin labels here, but they are still necessarily flexible. We did a similar test on a competitor's product and after 3,000 hours that split went bent around the mandrel. Uh, these tests we've seen under a separate video. So this is a virgin Foxo label attached to an 8mm cable, um, exactly the same as was done for the 3,000 hour test. It was decided to tie the labels to the cables by the two methods here to simulate both methods by which a, cable, a label could be attached to a cable in service. At 5,000 hours into the test, it was decided to also put some Foxfo labels in which were under a stress condition. Uh, so cables were set up attached, labels are set up attached to cables. Um, these cables are of 8mm diameter. This is a tighter radius than would normally be um, used for a label of this type and generally 10 to 12mm diameter would be the minimum. As can be seen here, the labels are whitened around the edges, however they are still clearly visible, um, clearly legible, and the labels are uncracked and uh, they perform very well.